Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have a group in studio with us today. It's the Naperville Area Homeowners Confederation. You might have heard about that, but do you know what they do? Joining me right now is Bob Fisher. He's president and Mike Riley, vice president. Welcome, guys. Let's start with what are you all about? Hi, Liz. Well, the Confederation started in 1979 as a way for the neighborhoods to get together to actually petition the city against the development they weren't happy about. Okay. And over the years, we've grown to be an organization that provides a, a, a source of information to the neighborhoods. We reach out to the school districts, the park district, the city government, the county governments, the townships, and we try to bring the disparate threads together and report back to our constituents, which are the homeowners associations and the homeowners in town, on what's going on and how this impacts them. All right. Now, there are different types of associations. Correct. And the Confederation is the umbrella that all these associations fit under. Am I right on this? That's correct. Okay. So, Mike, tell me what kind of associations are there? There, there are basically two types okay. of associations in Naperville. One would be a voluntary association. Voluntary associations uh, are not mandated to exist, but they generally exist for the camaraderie in, in a neighborhood and just working together. Sometimes they're brought together by a uh, an issue that surfaces in the community. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes they're just people that move in, they want to get to know each other, they want to have a summer block party, whatever, mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a way to do that. The mandatory associations, on the other hand, are a little bit different. Uh, mand mandatory associations in our community can uh, be pretty good size. Uh, I live in, uh, in White Eagle. Our association uh, con uh, is comprised of 1,085 homeowners, and we have a million-dollar annual budget. Wow. So it is, it is an enterprise, mm -hmm. and it's an enterprise that has to be managed professionally. Uh, we have a nine-member board of homeowners that are elected by, by their homeowners, and we also employ a full-time property manager. So that's a little bit different scenario than a voluntary association. But one of the nice things about the Confederation is uh, by coming together and networking, members in voluntary associations can kind of learn through others' examples and other experiences, things that they might encounter in their community and be able to be a little bit better prepared for them if they should happen. Yeah. Well, I think it's a neat way, because I, I think about where I live, and I live more in a, in a neighborhood, and, you know, we might... We have a newsletter. We have a now we have a social media list. So you know I have other people's emails, and you know, and we get together for that block party, yeah. or we tend to do that around holidays. So there's a July Fourth thing, you know. But you know, it's this takes that organization and puts it into with other organizations. So I might network with my neighbors in Highlands or in my neighbors in White Eagle. So it all kind of brings it together. Why is that important that these neighborhoods come together under a confederation? They all have common interests. They all have common problems um, that if they can share information, they can share contacts, they can address them together. Um, you know, one, one good point is that multiple neighborhoods go to schools together. Mm -hmm. And this provides an opportunity to get together and say, so what's going on in your school district? Or what's going on in this school? What's going on in that school? Uh, the Confederation can help with that. We can talk about umbrella issues. Uh, last year we talked about Common Core mm -hmm. and what that means and how that's going to impact people. We, we put a forum together on that. And it, it worked out really well because, again, we provided a gathering point for common questions, for common information, for all these individual neighborhoods to get that what, what they need to know to, to live in Naperville. Well, I think you bring up a great point because one of the things I, I don't know if everybody realizes is, is the wonderful programming you do. And not only for your associations, but for other members of the community. Anybody is welcome to come in and sit and listen when you guys hold a program. You've got an interesting one coming up on September 20th. Why don't you start with that and tell me a little bit about what's on the docket. September 20th, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning in the meetings rooms B and C of the Municipal Center. Um, start with coffee at 8. The meeting starts at 8.30. Last spring, a court case came down called Palm 2. And Palm 2 is right now being interpreted only for condominium associations, but it's got, because it's a court case and not a law, depending on what the judges do with it, it could have far reaching um, implications on any homeowners association, mandatory homeowners association, and their board. Uh, it, it creates requirements on how meetings can be held, how boards can do their business. Um, it, in a lot of ways, it takes the Public Open Meetings Act and applies it to homeowners associations, which is a really interesting concept if you're trying to run an association like White Eagle. I think, I, think it's, it, I think it's fascinating that I think people just don't realize, I think we all gather, whether it be mandatory 
at a clubhouse like at White Eagle or you know Ashbury, or, and we don't think about all the larger impacts. What are some of the other programming you're doing? Because you have something every every month, am I right, Mike? That's correct. We we do uh, programs each month. We'll do one on uh, we're looking to do on the school board budget, uh, one on uh, development throughout the city, uh, which will be important. We always do um, one or two uh, legislative updates throughout the year because that's something that we continually get feedback from our members saying that, that is, that's a valuable source of information for them. They, they, really, they really value that. We do, uh, in the springtime, we do the City Council off the dais, which is a unique opportunity, uh, I, I think, in Naperville. I don't know if any other community that does it. But it's the opportunity for, uh, for our members or residents to come out and uh, mingle and talk with uh, the city council members in a much less formal uh, way than, than going to a city council meeting and standing up at the lectern and addressing them on a specific uh, topic. So it's a good way to kind of get a little bit closer to your uh, to your local government. Uh, so you know we do that. Um, we uh, you know we we vary our programs each year. We have a couple of uh, standbys. We always do some legal updates, but we vary our programs each year depending on the feedback that we get from. Uh, from our communities. Well, I, I think that the Naperville Area Homeowners Association is very well respected in the community, and one of the areas I think you're you're really well known is when it's political season. It's it's, it's political season yep. right now. We've got. I think it's interesting that you do both the national and, of course, the local. Why is that important that you do that? Because at the end of the day, if you're a homeowner, it's your tax dollars being spent. Whether it's property taxes, whether it's income taxes, it's your tax dollars that are funding government, funding the units of government. And particularly when you get down the, the ballot, everybody knows who the people are on the top of the ballot. Mm -hmm. Those issues get plastered all over. Uh, you get down the ballot, you get to state legislature races, you get to park district, you get to school districts. You have a lesser opportunity to understand who the people are that are running, what they stand for, and what they're going to do to your pocketbook. Uh, we do have a forum scheduled for October 1st. Um, we're going to be in the city council chambers at 7 o'clock, and we will be televised on the city public access station with this uh, forum. There are three contested state legislature races touching Naperville, and we have the six candidates involved, and they're going to come in, and they're going to answer questions from us. Bob, quickly, if I want to become involved with the Confederation and become a member, how do I do that? Come to one of our meetings, talk to one of the board members, or go to the website and download a membership application and send us a check. It's $30 for a year's membership, and uh, we think it's a bargain. I think it's a bargain, too, and you guys are so approachable and friendly and full of lots of information. So thanks for stopping by, telling us a little bit about the Homeowners Confederation, and we're going to be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned.